<laughs> hi, hi. I wanted to come on here tonight and show you guys um, my new palette. This is my new palette that I got um, with the, this month's Kudos. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and do a smoky eye with you guys. Um, I kind of already started and then I figured that I would come on here and, and uh, show you guys. So, hi, hello. So, okay, so, um, hello everybody. I hope everybody had an awesome day today. We're almost to the weekend almost there um, so I just kind of want to tell you a little bit about what I have started already um, so I went ahead and I used uh, my eye primer which I'll show you in just one second <clears throat> so I already primed my eyes I set them with a translucent powder I also um, went in with gingerly here for my transition shade and I just picked up Marvelous, and I'm putting that in the outer crease here. So we are doing a smoky eye, um, and then I will tell you these colors here. So this is uh, Gingerly, Marvelous, Legendary, and Shrewd. Um, this Shrewd color is really, really pretty, so I'm so excited to use that. Um, I swatched them, I think it was last night, and they are gorgeous. So I'm going to kind of do like a little smoky eye. Um, like I said, very um, spur of the moment, but I just figured why not come on here and do it with you guys instead of um, just playing with the makeup by myself. So, like I said, I uh, put Gingerly in my um, transition shade here and I darkened it up, so I put a few layers on there. Um, now I'm going in with Marvelous and I'm just darkening up the outer V here. Hi, hello, hope you had an awesome day today. Um, it's been kind of cold and rainy here. I know it's been, I think it's been like that pretty much everywhere. Um, I know that, um, it's not going to be raining tomorrow, so that'll be nice. So I'm taking my crease brush here and I am just picking up the Marvelous and I am just kind of packing it in the outer uh, V area. Hi. <laughs> so you see I'm just kind of darkening up the outer corners here. So I am so excited. I customized this entire palette, which you guys can too. Um, we have tons of shades for you to choose from. So you basically create whatever you want. Um, and the, the thing that I love about this palette is it's all interchangeable in the back here. So say you're over these colors, say you are um, going on a vacation and you want to switch something out, um, you can do that. You just poke the back here, these eyeshadows will come out. The other thing I love is how compact and small this palette is. Um, you can throw this in your purse. Uh, this is really good to travel with. Um, another thing you could do is you could pick some brow um, brow shades and highlight shades that you can put in here and you can um, use this to double as like your brows or your um, highlighter too. So that's another thing that you can do with this. I really, really like that. So I would love to help you guys um, make one of these palettes. I'm like obsessed with um, customizing them. I think it's just really fun to put it all together and see what it looks like. So if you guys would like to get some shadows, you don't have to do these, you can choose your own. I would love to help you um, pick some shadows. So send me a message or comment below and I would love to help you pick out some shadows. We have a really, really good deal this month um, on the eyeshadow quad so I definitely want to make sure that you take advantage of that so I'm next gonna go in with the blending brush here this brush is really awesome you guys I would definitely suggest um, the crease brush that I was just using 
along with this blending brush and um, the cream shadow brush. I would say those are like three must-haves for you to do to build kind of like a basic eye. Basic eye look would be with those three brushes. Hi guys, when you pop on, I would love to say hello and see if anybody has any plans for this weekend. So I'm just blending this all in, you guys. I just want to make this look nice and smooth and soft. You see that? So we are just blending, blending, blending. I'm going to go in and kind of deepen up that crease right here. It's been kind of a, a blah day for me. I hope everybody else had a really good day. Oh, Ashley. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Ah, I know. I wish I was there too. Oh my god. I'm going to be having so much fun. Oh, we'll have a drink for me, ladies. It's Wine Wednesday, so have a drink, have a glass of wine, or a shot. You guys are drinking shots, have a shot for me. Oh no, Katie, have a lemon drop for me. I love lemon drops. So you guys, I'm just blending and blending and blending. This is your best friend. You want to make sure that you do this after every step. You always want to start with a little bit of product and build your way up. We're cooking dinner and getting drunk now. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds like the perfect night to me. See, I did it wrong. I had wine last night <laughs> and maybe a little too much, therefore I don't want any wine today. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. Kind of woke up with a little bit of a headache this morning. I'm good. <laughs> so we're going to do the same two steps on the bottom. We're going to come back to the lid. Um, when I do my eyes, I always, always, always save the lid for last. Um, I just like to do that so it doesn't get muddy, it doesn't get lost um, when I'm doing my other shades. So I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to use the same brush, the crease brush. And I'm going to do the same steps on the bottom. So we'll get that going. I'm going to pick up gingerly here, this color here. And we're just going to pop that on the bottom. Ooh. Taking that all the way in. It's crazy how much of a difference that makes, just bringing that color down to the bottom. It makes a huge difference, and it's funny because I remember, you know, um, as you get older, you learn new tips and tricks, and, you know, I look back at, like, pictures when I was younger, and, you know, the way my makeup used to look, and, you know, you always think it looks so good, and then you see your pictures, and you're like, wow, what was I thinking? like, how come nobody told me? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, because everybody was doing that back then. <laughs> we all didn't know what we were doing. Uh, what is that cleaning brush thing you use called? Um, so this is Color Cleaner. And I just get this off Amazon. I am an Amazon Prime lover. Absolutely adore Amazon Prime. I can't get away. So good. So now I'm going in with Marvelous. That same, uh, it's like a matte brown shade. And I am putting that on the outer corner here. And we're going to go in with eyeliner and all that good stuff. Um, I'm sure right now I look a little crazy. Um... 
Yes, Abby, off Amazon. I don't think it was more than like nine or ten dollars. So I'm so happy with this month's kudos, you guys. You get um, this eyeshadow quad, which is normally, uh, I believe, over 50. And in this month's kudos, it's like 37. So it's a really, really good savings. It's a 30% savings. You get your choice of four eyeshadow shades. You get your choice of a splash liquid lipstick which are really, really nice. They're super pigmented, um, they're weightless, they last a really long time. And then my holy grail, my little baby, my epic mascara, you get this in there too. And the awesome thing about our eyeshadows is they are all primer infused, so um, they're gonna last you a really, really long time, super pigmented, and they're really easy to use, as you can see. Um, they're really easy to blend out. Um, so that is really nice if you're starting out, um, you have some easy shadows to work with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, um, my highlight. So this is how I do my shadow, um, no matter if I'm doing, there's a fuzz, no matter if I'm doing a smoky eye or a regular eye, I will always <clears throat> do everything and leave my lid until last, like I said. Anna, you are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I miss you too, Anna. I, I really miss like that whole environment. I definitely do. Next time we kind of go that way, <clears throat> maybe I'll come see you at Oxnard. I would love to see you. April, Joe, um, I would love to see you guys. So next time I'm in the area, I'll let you know and we can see if we can kind of hang out a little bit that would be so fun so I'm gonna go in with my highlight you guys and I'm gonna use another one of our eyeshadows I'm gonna use trusting um, you guys have seen me use this on a live before this is just a really really pretty um, shimmer so I'm gonna actually take this in um, the inner corner of my eye here you see the difference there how that just brightened up the eye love this color trusting this is really really pretty so you guys I would love it if you could share my video um, if you're watching the replay make sure you do hashtag replay and yeah like I said share my video if you love this and if you love me that would be really awesome definitely helps me out in my business so I hope you guys are learning some tips. So I just put my highlight on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it under the brow. And if you guys saw my um, highlighting video, you guys know why I'm doing this. It's gonna lift the brow. <clears throat> and um, if you didn't see my live video on using highlighter, go on my timeline and watch it. It's a really good one just gives you all the tips you need to um, use the highlighter and where to put it and why and all that good stuff. I am obsessed with highlighter and the highlighting queen. I remember I took a trip to Vegas with um, my girls Ashley and um, Katie and introduced them to Champagne Pop and their minds were like blown from that shadow or from that highlighter. It's awesome. So <laughs> yes awesome so I'm gonna go in next with shrewd and I'm gonna go ahead and do the lid color um, this is the shrewd <clears throat> this is let's see Can you see that oh it is so pretty so it is kind of like a gunmetal um, shimmer um, it is so so pretty it's so pretty so here, just trying to swatch these for you guys really quick on the back of my hand. So you guys can do um, a smoky eye. It doesn't have to be with um, these dark colors. You can do a neutral smoky eye. Um, 
which if you guys want, I can show you how to do that too. But I just figured I was playing tonight. I had just gotten this eyeshadow palette and I wanted to play around with it. So here are all of the shades. So we're gonna do Shrewd on the top of my lid. So let's go ahead and go in with that. I am going to spray the brush with um, some uh, MAC Fix Plus just so I can get the most pigment out of this eyeshadow. I really, really want it to be super shimmery. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you spray the brush with rose water, um, any kind of spray uh, with alcohol in it, that's gonna really make the pigment um, pop in any shadow that you have. So that's a nice little tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this shrewd color right on the lid. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah! Oh my gosh, so pretty. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Love. <laughs> oh my god. So the brush that I'm using right now, um, I love this brush. Uh, this is our liner shader brush. And it's dual ended, so it's got the liner and the shader brush. I really like this just because it is um, nice and dense and it is flat, so you can really pack that shadow on the lid nice and easy. <clears throat> you guys, are you seeing this shimmer? Oh my god, they're so pretty. I'm obsessed. So, this is perfect for date night, um, if you're going out with the girls, if you have an event, um, this would be really, really nice for any of those events. And you know what, I think I might actually darken this up with some black on the outer on the outer corner what do you guys think if I put some legendary in the outer corner just to make it a little bit darker um, I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna do that so I sprayed the brush again so we can get the shrewd on the other eye oh my god that shimmer is just so pretty and like I said, you guys, you get to customize this palette. You don't have to use these shades. Um, you get to choose whatever you want. If you want, we have a really, really pretty um, rose gold palette. Like if you want to get your rose gold on your eyes, um, we have some really pretty shades that you can do that with. Um, you can do an all neutral palette there's so many things that you can do wow see that you guys see that shimmer that is so pretty love it love it love it love it so I'm just like packing this on I'm gonna blend out um, the edge on the top <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys where I'm talking about. So you see um, this area here. I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm using very, very small circular motions. And I'm going upwards. Okay. I don't know why I'm, I had some music on. So I'm doing the same thing over here, little small circles and blending up. Okay. Blending out the harsh line there. And then like I said, I want to put um, Legendary in the outer V just to kind of darken it up a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to take that. Legendary, which is a matte black. 
And we're gonna put that in the outer V here. Just to kind of make that a little bit darker, tie in that shrewd a little bit more. Look at that, look at the difference there. You guys like it? <laughs> Give me some hearts if you like this smoky eye. So we're gonna add a little bit more legendary on this outer V here. I love this matte black. It's really, really nice. Really creamy, very, very pigmented. Super easy to use. Love it. So I'm just bringing that legendary up in the crease here. Hoping that you guys can see that okay. <laughs> okay so eyeshadow really is about just kind of like putting that putting it on taking a, a step back you know checking out what you have going on really um, blending everything together um, you know making sure that you have no harsh lines So on and so forth. So I'm just taking my blending brush and I'm just blending out the edges, the outer edges here. And you see how that just darkened that up by putting that legendary. I'm gonna go in and put legendary on the um, bottom lash line as well. Want to mimic anything you do on the top, you want to mimic on the bottom um, just to really pull it all together. And then we're going to fill in the waterline too, so we get rid of that space that's there. You can see that space there. And I don't like that. So we're going to get rid of that. Just really make this like a nice smoky eye. Okay. And I think we're even going to put a little bit more this. Okay, I'm loving this so far. What do you guys think? So far, so good? So far, so good? Hmm? Okay. Next, let's fill in um, the waterline, like I said. Let's find our perfect... Precision liner. Um, these eyeliners are really good too, you guys. Super pigmented, very creamy. Like my highlight. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna tight line the top and the bottom. This part sucks. Um, I hate this. I hate doing this, but it, it just really makes the um, eye look come together really makes it super smoky so beauty is pain right pain is beauty see how that just took the space away there and then we're gonna do the same for the bottom so on the bottom um, what I do I got asked this question um, in my other live video I will um, pull my eye with a brush I will never touch my skin after I already do my makeup. So I will never pull my eye like this, doing my eyeliner. Um, your finger, obviously your hands are warm. Anytime you touch your face, you're warming up the foundation underneath and you can cause it to move around and um, I don't want that. So I always use a brush and then I go in and do whatever I need to do. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna um, do the bottom here. 
This is really easy to use, you guys, this pencil. It's so creamy. Um, you don't have to like tug on the eye or anything. You guys can see how easy this is going on. Um, and look at that, you guys, look at the difference. Look at the difference there. <clears throat> and it goes on smo so smooth, smo smooth, <gasps> so smooth, so smooth. So that is that. We are going to do liner and then we are going to do our mascara with of course none other than our epic mascara and yeah then we're going to be pretty much done. What do you guys think? You love it? Give me some hearts. We're going to do some eyeliner that way you can see the full effect. Um, let's see if I can find my eyeliner. So you guys saw my eyeliner video that I did um, on my live the other day. So you know by now I use two. I use a felt tip and I use a liquid um, for the wing. So we are going to go ahead and do that now. You guys like it? Awesome. And, you know, I try not to. Hold too hard on my eye. But a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, you know? Damn. What a difference. What a difference eyeliner makes. Five billion hearts. Aw. Thank you. I'm just going to see if I can turn on um, my music because I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> See the eyeliner there? Okay, so we're going to do the other eye here. Don't fail me now, liner. <clears throat> so, I would love to come on and um, do like a uh, St. Patrick's Day look. What do you guys think? We'll clean that up, don't worry. We'll clean it up, we'll clean it up. Selena is just not wanting to cooperate with me right now. Fine then. We will use the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and do the wing right now. <clears throat> And then we'll do our um, mascara and then we'll be done. So I start, I start with the bottom line here. I also did a video on my liner if you guys want to check that out on my timeline. Bam! Wing it out. When in doubt, wing it out. So I always do the bottom line first. And I create my open triangle. Look at that, you guys. And then I always have to check and see if they're even. What do you think, you guys? Do we like? Oh yeah, we need to fix the top liner. So we're gonna just fix kind of like this area. How 
How is everybody doing with the time change, too? Is everybody getting around okay? Like, getting their kids where they need to be? <laughs> okay, so we are going to do our mascara, and then we're going to do our lips. So this is pretty much what we have going on for our smoky eye. Let me see if I can pop a little bit more gingerly on the outer area here. Like I said, you you do your shadow, then you take a step back, you, you see what else you need, you know what I mean? Um, it's always kind of like that checking back and forth thing that you need to make sure that you're doing um, when you're doing your shadow. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't come out right. If you're not liking the way it looks, you probably just need to blend, honestly. Honestly, honestly, if you're not liking the way it's coming out, you probably just need to blend more, and that's it. That's it. That is it. So we're going to go in with our Epic Mascara. This is my baby. I need to replace her. She is um, she's getting a little sad. She needs a replacement. She needs to be refreshed. So we're going to go in with our Epic Mascara. Um, this is my Holy Grail. This brush literally grips every single one of your lashes um, from the root to the tip. It coats every single lash. Proven volume. And it curls these bad boys. And it's clump free, which is really nice. Um, the other thing I love, it's buildable. Um, so you can do one coat. If you want to do one coat, that's fine. I'm a little extra, so I normally will do two to three coats because I love the way it looks when, um, when I have two to three coats on. It just really, really looks really great. Um, so that's what I do. I do two to three coats, but you can totally do one. Um, it's still gonna really grab onto all those lashes. It's gonna curl them. I just love this formula. I really do. I haven't found anything that um, did the same. Like, look at that, you guys. One mascara is going to be three months, I think. Pretty sure it's three months. Um, when you get your box, it says on the, it says on your box. Um, but I believe it's three months for the mascara. Gosh, you guys, I love, 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 love. Look at it. Look at the difference. Stop. So we're going to do the bottom here. I'm trying not to block you guys, the mirror. Love. Love, love, love. So I have Shrewd on my lid. I have Gingerly in the transition. And I have Marvelous um, in the crease. And Legendary in the outer V, outer corner. You And you want to do that because it's really going to add depth to the eyeshadow. Say you were to just use two different colors, you know, you, you will get... You know a good smoky eye you'll get a, a pretty look that way um, but by layering the the different shades that's really gonna give you depth and really just gonna give you that nice gradient effect um, which is I think what we all kind of want I mean we don't want any harsh lines we want it to just look nice and blended and uh, so yeah, I do suggest going in always with the transition shade and building that color up. I'm loving this look, you guys. I just had to I just had to play around with it and I like I said, I figured why not come on here and uh show you guys I 
Right? Why not? Love, love, love. So you guys, share this video. I would love it if you shared my video. And always comment hashtag replay when you're watching the replay. This is our kudos that I used on our eyes for this month. You get to pick four shades of your choice. You get my Holy Grail Epic Mascara. And you get a Splash Liquid Lipstick. Our liquid lipsticks are really nice. They're super pigmented. Um, and they are weightless, so you don't feel anything when you're wearing them. Love this Shrewd. I'm obsessed with Shrewd. I just think it's really, really pretty. The shimmery color that I have on my lid. Okay. So let's take this off. So we can see what the whole look looks like. And obviously you wouldn't go out wearing a sweatshirt <laughs> and this look. But it's cold. It's cold, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> so I'm just going to do like a gloss. I am going to use um, Popular Lip Liner with Ladylike um, Gloss. It is going to be kind of like a red-ish lip. So we're going to do that. Um, what do you guys think? I hope that you can see the shimmer that is in this shrewd. It is beautiful. Shrewd. So lid color, transition, crease, and outer corners. Okay? So I also have, just put a little bit more of my lip bonbon. You guys, this is freaking amazing. Um, red velvet cake. This stuff is awesome. It actually moisturizes your lips. You don't use it, and then when it wears off, feel like you need to use it again. I mean, it, it really feels very, very moisturizing. It's really nice. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go in with Popular Lip Liner. I should have taken a drink of my drink before I did this because I'm thirsty. I know, Ashley, you are going to love the bonbon. You're going to love it. Oh. So I don't necessarily overline I mean these things are freaking big enough as it is like I don't <laughs> I don't need to draw any more attention to these like they're they're good and then you can always do the little indents here it's just going to give kind of like the appearance of a fuller lip. Like I said, I don't need. Look at that. <laughs> Always what we don't have. <clears throat> and I'm just throwing Lady Like right on top. I love this applicator, doe foot, and it's flat on both sides. So you can really get on that lip. And it is so pigmented, you guys. Look at this. This is just a gloss. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So that's all that is, you guys, a gloss. And look at that pigment. This looks like a lipstick, but it's not. It's gloss. So, 
here's the final look. Let's see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Does that help a little bit? <laughs> We're strobe lighting. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Our smoky eye with shrewd as our lid color. It is so pretty. What do you guys think? You like? <laughs> Give me some hearts. And um, like I said, we will do a St. Patrick's Day look. Um, I will get some ideas together so we can do one of those. I think that would be a really fun video um, for all of you that are going out for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so yeah, do you guys have any questions? Um, this, once again, was what I used tonight. All four shades plus trusting. So we added trusting in there, um, and then we went ahead and we used Ladylike Lip Gloss and Popular Lip Liner, and we used our crease brush, we used our blending brush, we used our liner shader brush, and I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, you guys, you really only need three or four brushes to honestly give you, like, a nice eyeshadow look. So just keep that in mind. You don't need, like, a huge, huge collection. So there we have it, you guys. Nice smoky eye with some epic mascara. Do you guys see this mascara? Are you kidding me? I didn't curl my lashes or anything and you can actually see them through the eyeliner which is really hard to do normally when you have eyeliner it drowns out the lashes this mascara is so good that you can still see them they're um, still prominent curled up thick really black I don't have any mascaras that do this none whatsoever so if you guys want to try this, if you want to um, make your lashes kind of look like this, if you feel a little self-conscious about your lashes, you need to try the Epic. Try the Epic and try our Lash Serum as well. That's going to fortify the lashes. That's going to make them grow um, longer and thicker. So try that too. We have a duo where you can get both at a pretty good deal. So, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys love this look once again. And I will see you on my next live. Hope everybody has an awesome night. Thanks. Bye.